history where I should that say I come over here to this uh, werewolf and I'm you know he's metal might use some of the tones from from the uh, from from the atmosphere. First off, I can I don't have to open up a new layer. If I just start my history brush, I can stay within my layer and erase only what I wish to erase, just what I've put down recently. You can you can always open a new layer after that. That's fine, but the cool thing about this is that if you get, you know, um, I've learned with my history brush is I could take this a little further and to be patient and just stay with these two tones. Um, so I, I put that down with a, with a history brush and I didn't I don't have to pick out a color turn the history brush to screen and it put down the texture but it only put it down right where mm -hmm. in the in the uh, makes in for the, a nice highlight on the history brush yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't lighten up it doesn't lighten up my darks my black like where I haven't drawn it's using that layer in that history at that moment when I press history as the tone it's going to paint down with. So if it's black and it's a screen brush, so it's going to it's like painting black on black with a sc uh, in screen mode. It's not going to do anything. But if you if the brighter the the color that's already down, it's going to use that hmm. as the color as a screen mode on top of that. So you don't necessarily have to, you know, if you want to lighten up an area, but it, it has a great it, has a gradient outward, it will lighten quicker and the brighter spots and be it. Kind of we'll makes for a natural highlight. It's and very, then you can kick smooth. it back to, to normal mode. Uh, get a soft brush. The history brush back to normal mode. I can clean that up and it adds. And then you have history brush in heart in a in a uh, hard light. So I haven't done anything but um, turn turn it over to hard light. Actually, I'm gonna keep that where it is. Start I'm gonna reset my history. And so with this, it um, you know I can it will his it pretty much does a hard light of that same blue in that spot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm still using the same colors. Same and, tone. Yeah, but I haven't, yeah, and it, but I haven't really, maybe I don't want that, maybe I just want a little touch of, you know, like some uh, broken down metal. Um, one that really works well, history brush and overlay. If I get into more metals, I add, uh, so I'll get out my brush and probably use some so I have this here, like this is some sort of uh, piston in the neck of this robot. Some sort of generic, general, mechanical, internal bits, or even um, the claw. All right, I'm gonna use a little bit of. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through some of this stuff. So I'm gonna use a uh, trick I I enjoy, which is a stamp tool, and I just steal one of some of my <laughs> own textures. 
here's, you know, some quick stuff with history brush. I didn't have to open a new layer or anything. I just, you know, make sure that. So you can use this uh, to have a really nice uh, um, texture there that I can rip off for myself. When I've had to uh, get through some books, I would stamp tool my textures from other pages and. I wouldn't steal from other artists, that would be just terrible, and no fun at all. But just for myself, you know, I think it's like totally legitimate if you're doing your own book. Mm -hmm. Rip off your own pages. You know. Well, you're going to do it anyway over time, so you might as well speed up the process. Yeah, and you know, I went through all that process right there, that 12 seconds to make that. Might as well rip it off, because I'm so lazy. <laughs> you know, it's like trying to get through this, or whatever, so. After I've done a little bit of metal here, uh, you go in with a uh, history, history brush and um, with overlay, and it just, I don't know if that, what it does, it just deepens the tones mm. that I already have. But it does, with the linen overlay, it doesn't, uh, doesn't kill my bright, my, the brightness, you know. It doesn't kill the wow, sharp. Wow, yeah, so that really light. sharpens it, that's nice. Yeah. Being that he's here, it worked best. And so, how, how did you do that again? History brush over turned to overlay mode, and it came back over top of that. Damn. Even does it, you know, gets too dark up here, but even there, it looks cool. <clears throat> Jeez, you know, yeah. You can do Shit that. Really you nice. can take the whole thing, darken the whole thing up Why once. Not, yeah. It's your art, who cares? Yeah, you just darken it up once, and then you turn it back to linear dot or something and see what it looks like. You know, maybe not a gritty brush, not the same texture, because it gets kind of weird. But with a linear dodge, say if he's he's a little more shiny. And look, I'm, I'm not even... Um, I haven't done anything different. I haven't had anything more than what I've got. Like, uh, I'm not using a high textured brush right now. Mm -hmm. You know what but, I like about this is the size of his claws. It's terrifying, really. Yeah, and, and like, just you can just blow something out. But like, right there, I'm not in that black. Mm. I'm not even, I'm not even uh, affecting it. And that's with the, and that's just with the history brush. You know, you take it a little further. Take those. I mean, I've already done the work of putting down the paint. I don't have to destroy it. I don't have to overlap it and uh, overwork it. I mean, I, I feel like I'm selling something here, but I'm just selling the idea that there's some good things going on with the history brush. Yeah. So that turned out pretty cool up here. Like, on here, on this, uh... So yeah, I mean, the, the history brush is Pretty cool. I mean, if I wanted to do that with the uh, layers, I don't know. Like, I would have to. I'd probably have to open a layer. I mean, it was actually my thought about it when I first heard of History Brush. I was like, yeah, but couldn't you just make a new layer? And you can, but um, it doesn't use your image that you have below there as a. Uh, so that's on its own layer. Um, maybe if I lock the layer and then put another brush and put it on linear dodge. I might be able to do that, but it, it's not the same. So I've been I've been sitting on my hands this whole time, but you gotta are you gonna work on the face? <laughs> I know, I just, I'm like looking at it and I'm still just like, oh, it's so dark, I just want to so bad look at it. <laughs>